Welcome back, everybody, to Pop Culture Conspiracy. I'm your host, T. How are y'all doing today? And in this video, I'm going to be talking about Koi Ray leaving Republic Records for Island Records. Before I hop in, please like, share, and subscribe, and let's talk in the comments. So Koi Ray says that she left Republic because they wanted pop shit from her. Um, it is what it is. Like, I feel like Koi is being slightly delusional. I don't know if moving to Island Records is going to be better for her. Is she really trying to push herself as a rap artist? I don't believe that. I don't see that. And that's why I don't believe it. Because the behavior isn't looking like you're trying to be a rapper. And let's see. She was on a song with Nicki Minaj, the rapper. And she didn't deliver bars. So I am not convinced. That was your opportunity to show off that you really wanted to be a rapper. Like you have multiple opportunities too with the music that you're making, but none of your music gives that you really want to do rap. All of your music gives like you're just here. So I'm not really sure like what Koi is like talking about. Um, I think her music before Republic was slightly more rap, but because I'm thinking of songs like About Me, but it's like, Koi, I don't think you really have like a real identity. That's, I think, the real issue. I think Koi is having the same problem as Lotto. I think they don't have real identities, so they just like cosplay in costumes you know, like every day in their career is like Halloween. Like, who am I going to dress up as today? Like, who am I going to be and like emulate today? Like, I'm just following like the popular trend, like the popular aesthetic. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's why you see like Cardi B, like one minute she's dressed in like Ice Spice. The next minute she looks like a Nicki knockoff. Like the next minute she looks like Doge Cat. It's just like, because like just following like what's popular, like other people set the tone and like you just, you know, you just follow and that gets old and like fizzles out like real quick. With, what's her name? With Koi. Koi, you don't have like really like any serious hits outside of like No More Parties. And like No More Parties came and went. No More Parties is not like a stick around hit. Like it was a song that got big. But can we really say it was like a hit? It was a hit for you. But it wasn't a hit for us because we don't play that shit anymore. And again, you didn't come out with bars. You literally sat there and literally mumbled, he act how I get that, ooh. Like, you didn't even have a word to put there. Like, pull up in the, ooh. Like, you are, you are responsible for, like, helping to dumb down, like, the masses. Like, no more parties is nothing lyrical, nothing lyrical. So I don't know why you're getting mad at Republic for asking you to do pop songs. No more parties gave pop vibes. It was like a melodic, like rap song, which is like becoming very popular nowadays. Like why do you think Gunna and Young Thug are like so big? They're known for like, especially future, like melodic beats with like a little bit of a trap sound, like. And, like, all those artists have definitely, like, especially Future, have collaborated with, like, pop artists like Drake himself. So, Koi, miss me with the foolery. I don't think um, you're going far. I really don't. I'm not going to even lie to you. Um, I think you're just really not that talented overall. And I think that that's been the issue this whole time. I think you're another Nepo baby who Benzino handed over to the damn industry because you don't have an ounce of talent. Like, you don't. And hopping, label hopping is not going to change that. Um, you know, in, in order, you, you can try, but that will require you really being able to, like, song write and like really try to like turn yourself into a, a real musician because right now I don't think you're really bringing anything fresh and new to the table and I don't think Island Records all the marketing and promo and pale in the world is not going to 
is not going to change again things for you because you weren't in making like great music before you have to make things that we actually want to hear that's that's the real recipe of like sticking around for the long time sticking around for a long time and like actually becoming a legend is actually having like hits in the stash hits in the vault actually like producing like consistent hits like koi you have not done that your your music has expired coming with your most memorable song is blick blick that's like one of your best sounding songs because you and Lil dirk Lil dirk is not talented neither are you Blick Blick is one of your best songs. Um, but yeah, like Island, I just, I feel like Island, like they can take you and they can try to, you know, what, change your aesthetic up again and try to get some writers for you. They can try to do that and we'll see how it works. How about that? Let's see what Island does. But Again, like uh, whoever, I think Lotto is with RCA. Um, they're putting a lot of marketing behind Lotto and the music is still like falling flat. Cardi has Atlantic. They're putting a lot of uh, money behind her, but the product is what? Falling flat. Because if you really are not making good sounding music, all the dollars in the world all the rituals in the world. It's not going to work, babe. It's not going to work. So let's talk in the comments, y'all. Bye.